Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to fill you in on some testing that I did but didn't get a chance to film, so hopefully this will be one of very few uh, catch-up videos that I just have to make really quick because I realistically don't have the time or the resources to get it done. But the test that I did was the Pedego Mid-Drive City Commuter versus the Pedego Hub Drive City Commuter. Let's take a look. So as a quick recap, because I'm guessing that this video is going to attract a lot of people who maybe haven't seen the channel before or who are not familiar with electric bikes in a lot of ways, um, to give you a little bit of insight, uh, I'm Mikey from Blue Monkey Bicycles. That's the channel that you're watching right now. We're an independent uh, electric bike media outlet and we just do electric bike um, knowledge, information, education, reviews, uh, comparisons, things like that. Uh, Easy Motion is a brand of electric bike. Uh, that I like. I like a lot of them. Uh, so this really has nothing to do with it. I'm just wearing it because I'm working in the electric bike shop fixing bikes today. So now you know. Anyways, so this video and the discussion is focused on the two bikes uh, that I announced earlier. The Pedego City Commuter Hub Drive. The Pedego City Commuter Mid Drive. Now, uh, I have a lot of time and experience on Pedego bikes, particularly a while ago, I used to drive a Hub Drive City Commuter as my personal daily driver for about a year and a half. Now, naturally working with electric bikes, I have a lot of experience riding lots of different systems, you know, dual motors, front hub, rear hub, plenty of mid-drive options and a few wacky ones. For some reason, I really like the wacky ones. Anyways, anyways. So I talk about that to give you an idea of the breadth of my experience. I didn't just ride the bikes around the block and say it was all good. No, I, I rode the mid-drive version for about 50 miles, including a range test to see how far it would go at full blast. Now let's change gears a little bit and talk about the specs of the bikes really quickly. Now between the two, you have the same battery size. You have the same battery capacity, the same battery position actually, uh, the same bicycle. Uh, components, you know, the wheels, the tires, the tire size, and all that stuff. The same frame, the same bike and motor manufacturer, and moreover, the bike was made with the intent of complementing the existing bike lineup, like the hub drive. Now, this is really a good opportunity because it's, it's a good chance to try out a bike where the only variable in this equation is number one, the motor placement, whether it's in the hub or it's in the middle. Uh, the differences in the motor itself, because they're going to behave a little bit differently, and the programming. As far as I know, that's it. Now, you even have the same rider, which is me, on the same route. So, how did it go? Honestly, I was very surprised. I was expecting this test to be the last nail in the coffin for hub drive bikes, but it didn't turn out that way. I was expecting greater range, greater power output, greater top speed, and the mid-drive city commuter did not exceed the hub drive in any of these tests. And moreover, on a range test, the hub drive and the mid-drive version got similar scores on the same range test. And the top speed of the mid-drive version wound up being around 18 and a half miles an hour instead of the 20 miles an hour that I'm used to with the hub drive version. Now, even acceleration on the mid-drive was severely hampered because the mid-drive version has an electric delay to changing gears. Now, this is done intentionally so as not to strain the system, but nonetheless, the bike did not have that same kind of rocket ship performance that most of the pedagos usually have. So between these two bikes, the hub drive and the mid-drive, I much prefer the hub drive option in pretty much every way. Now, I guess you could say that's because of the, I have so much time on the hub drive that I wanted it to feel like that. So that, you know, that's something to consider. Uh, but I felt like the hub drive was faster. I felt like the perceived output was a lot greater. It shifts gears a lot more smooth because it's not in the way. It gets perfectly acceptable range for me. And what benefit does the mid-drive have for me personally? Well, it does have better balance. And that's, that's probably, in my opinion, that's the most important thing for it. It has better balance and that is certainly for sure. If you are sensitive to balance, then I would definitely uh, consider, if you're looking at the Pedagol lineup, I'd definitely consider a bike with a mid-drive such as this. Now, one benefit of the mid-drive version is that it uses the programming of the system is not so aggressive. Now, the older Pedagos, they had this, they had kind of an intimidation factor where you get on and you would just rocket ship off. And so Pedago uh, responded by actually hampering, uh, really not hampering, Pedago responded by changing the programming to be not so aggressive so that people felt a little more comfortable the first time that they tried out their bikes. So if the mid-drive already has that and the hub drives are now going to have that, 
or they do by now. Um, so what's the big selling point? Well, I would say balance. Um, aside from that, I really don't see one, and therein kind of lies a problem. I love the team at Pedego, and I have really enjoyed the high standard that they have set for an electric bike company. But I think in this particular model, it's, a, it's kind of a black sheep within their lineup, and I think the competition has exceeded them. Thanks for watching this video. I apologize I didn't get a chance to film and do more like I usually do. I'm Mikey from Blue Monkey Bicycles, and I'll see you on the later.